Hi everyone, I'm Ernie from Retirement SOS. And it just seemed like yesterday when my wife Beth threw me a 50th surprise birthday party where friends and family all gathered around to give me some good natured ribbing about me turning the half century mark. And it's funny when you're in your 40s and middle aged, retirement seems like a long way off. When I reached the age of 50, my internal clock was telling me it was time to get serious about my financial future. And when you're in your 50s, time really does go by quickly. And then suddenly you reach 60 and then you're talking about retirement with all your friends because psychologically age 60 means you're very, very close to retirement. And even though I had many uncertainties about my retirement at age 50, I still had a certain degree of confidence that if I played my cards right, I'd be able to retire at age 65. And my role models were my parents, aunts, uncles, who all seemed to be doing well and enjoying life as retirees. So let's look at the three biggest financial planning worries amongst soon to be retirees. Number one, entering retirement with debt. Number two, outliving their money. And number three was having savings, but not enough saved to match their lifestyle goals. So what does that mean if you're in your 50s and 60s? A recent study by the National Institute on Aging stated that 25% of Canadians in their 50s and 60s reported being nervous and less confident about retirement. And the reason is many in this group were struggling just to cover basic household expenses and didn't have enough funds necessary to save for retirement. So on the opposite side of the ledger are the savers. And the report highlights that 33% of Canadians in their 50s and 60s are able to put away money regularly for retirement. And finally, the last group can be classified as inconsistent savers. Their main fear was going into retirement with a lower standard of living than expected. I really wish that more and more companies would offer the option of workplace pensions. And wouldn't it be great if the government would offer tax incentives to any company that gave their employees a workplace pension option? And workplace pensions are so effective because it provides a disciplined and effortless way for the company's employees to save money for retirement. So I have to ask the question, has the retirement bubble burst? In spite of the doom and gloom, I think it's just leaking hot air right now. And market indicators are telling us the economy is improving, but unfortunately is just not fast enough for everyone. What about inflation? We know inflation continues to trend downward in some sectors. Unfortunately, the two major essentials, such as housing and food, still remain very high. Ah, but there is some good news. The good news is somewhere between 225,000 and 300,000 Canadians are going to retire this year. And if I can use a hockey term, that's still a sizable amount of people that are going to hang up their gloves this year. So thank you for watching. Good luck with your decision to retire. So until next time, bye for now.